Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Lately, I have been doing a lot of videos on hydroponic growing cucumbers outside using solar power pumps. And I get a lot of really good questions, so I figure I'll answer it to you uh, by showing you some of the stuff that I'm doing. So um, here, I have a system growing cucumbers that I made a video on uh, recently. I'll link you if you haven't seen it. And I'm using a solar air pump right here and some of the questions that I get asked are very good questions for example uh, what happens if uh, there is no Sun for a few days uh, using the solar power air pump um, that's actually a really good question because uh, I get asked that very often so once you set up the unit and the pump is running and it, it's pumped water I mean uh, air into the system and uh, even if there's no sun for two days or whatever, the system will still be fine. Uh, once there's oxygen in the water, the plant can stay alive and uh, use that oxygen that is already there for a couple of days. So uh, where I live, we haven't had too much rain and so we have a good amount of sun. So I haven't had much of a problem, but I think uh, there were days uh, in the past where it rained for like three to four days uh, there's no sun and uh, I came out dumped the bucket out and uh, the plant still fine so uh, that leads to the next question what happened when it rains so when it rains of course because of how the lid is uh, it's gonna fill the bucket and then whatever overflow is just overflows out and after the rain you can either keep the rain water but sometimes it could be dirty, so I usually uh, come out, I'll dump the rainwater out, rinse it up, and then I'll add nutrients again. So it's basically it's starting over. So uh, it's five milliliter per gallon, and that's basically usually uh, what I do. So uh, another thing they ask uh, is, uh, do you check pH or EC? And no, I don't. Uh, if you watched the most recent video uh, that I did uh, create this system here um, it's as simple as what I showed in the video nothing else is added so there's no pH there's no EC measurement uh, all I did is uh, add water actually the the nutrients first and then I add water that way it can disperse evenly and that is it so keep it simple and that's usually how I uh, I do or create these systems um, another question is what is your favorite cucumber varieties to grow in hydroponic inside outside as well as soil um, so I grow probably the same varieties every year uh, the Nokia um, the Socrates Diva and the white Itachi those are my favorite and uh, the reason I grow those uh, or because or the reason they're my favorite is because uh, they don't require pollination which is an a really a good bonus when you grow them inside um, they are gynecious and parthenocarpic so Nokia and white Itachi are parthenocarpic uh, which means they do produce male and female flowers but more of the female flowers but they don't require pollination to create a cucumber and the cucumber will become seedless uh, if I think if you want to save seeds then you have to pollinate uh, and then once you pollinate it successfully, then you mark that particular cucumber and then you can collect seeds from that one. And uh, uh, the rest would be, if they self-pollinate or self-create the cucumber, then there's no seeds. And the uh, no Nokia, actually no, the Diva and the Socrates, they're gynecious, meaning they only produce female flowers. So as soon as you see a flower, that's the cucumber. And another reason why I love them so much is because uh, they produce so early. So if you grow Socrates and Diva, uh, even the the, uh, the Nokia, as soon as they get around this size, you can already see a cucumber uh, being produced. So they're very early producing plants. And uh, it takes around two weeks uh, before you can transplant them into the system and then another maybe 25 to 30 days before they start to have cucumbers for you to use. So I would say uh, the average time 
is usually between 40 to 50 days uh, from seed to harvest time so which is a pretty good uh, short period um, hydroponics are really easy because once you set it up you just sit back and watch it uh, watch it grow and then you monitor the uh, the level and then refill if you need to but usually in 20 days you probably don't need to yet unless you just want to have the level at a at a constant level so um, those are basically the reason why those are my favorite varieties uh, I'm growing some in hydroponic in soil and uh, we're gonna take a look at all of them so uh, you can see how uh, how well they're performing so let's go take a look okay here is my unit and this plant on this side here is the uh, Danokia variety and these are larger varieties that produce bigger cucumbers so I will show you a few uh, as I mentioned they're parthenon parthenocarpic so they don't require pollination they just create uh, they just produce fruit on their own without any of those and they're also very prolific too so you see there's uh, cucumbers right there a bunch of them down there actually and there's some over there and there's some here and the plant is not very big yet and it's already producing that much um, when you grow this outside and uh, you, you can allow it to just roam on its own then there's no need to um, kind of like trim or cut back some sides and stuff like that but if you grow these inside uh, in hydroponic uh, the best thing to do is allow the plants to grow upward and at, if it does uh, grow upward you want to trim that way to keep it you know like uh, just one single vine grown up and it's it's easier to control lights can penetrate and then you know they get the plants can get what it needs so um, they do produce a lot of cybine so for example there's a main stem right there you see and then this side here you see that side goes to there and then that other side this is the main vine it goes there and then the main vine will shoot out more sides you see it just grows all over the place so the more side vines that uh, you allow uh, to grow uh, the more energy is needed uh, to keep the plant alive that means it suck up a lot more nutrients and it also drink water quickly and also it's just, because it grows all over the place uh, it could block lights from getting through to some of the uh, the cucumbers if you grow this indoors so that's why uh, a lot of the people they grow it growing up and then they just trim all to the side and just allow one main vine to grow and then you would get a, a cucumber at every node which is uh, usually why people trim when they grow inside and here I have my diva variety and the diva is also a very uh, nice variety that produces very early uh, the cucumbers are a lot smaller because they they uh, you see I kind of allow that one to overgrow a little bit so uh, <laughs> There's another one in here. You see there are two. So they're, they're pretty large. Usually I don't allow them to get this big because uh, they, they, they're not um, as crunchy when they're at that size. But still, um, that's a good cucumber there to use. They're tasty and uh, pretty neat cucumber. Okay, so um, these are the hydroponic setup and people always love uh, uh, you know seeing the roots so I'm gonna show you the root system uh, I think I may need to refill very soon you see there it is right there it is about halfway down now and roots probably filled up the entire bucket almost very nice and clean and healthy and white okay so I'll show you the soil one that way you can see also okay here are two plants that I grew in soil and these are also uh, Nokia right here see these are the Nokia variety you see and then this one on this side is actually a different one this one is called the Suyo Long um, this one is also a very neat variety it's also parthenocarpic same thing as the um, the Nokia but the Suyo Long is a uh, very spiky it's an Asian variety and uh, it grows um, very large cucumbers so 
Uh, we'll have to wait to see how big this one gets. But yeah, it's a really neat. They're delicious too. I love those. Okay, so let's go see the other ones. Okay, before we go there, let's let's uh, look, take a look at an, another suyo long that I'm growing in hydroponic. And this is my solar air pump right there. The reason it's stretched out to here is because the sun hits this area and it doesn't hit that area at this time. So that's why that's why it's there. It's pretty funny looking. But um, yeah, so here is the suyo long in hydroponic. And I'm getting, you see there's a, a few cucumbers. There's one right there, and I think there's another one somewhere. Oh, here we go. So these are uh, younger. They started later, maybe a few weeks ago. But uh, it's a fun uh, method to grow cucumbers because it grows it pretty fast, maintenance free. And because I have these in little buckets like this, it's, it's easier to move. Also, if you grow them in five gallons, they do drink very fast as they get larger because cucumbers are extremely heavy feeder. Uh, but with cucumbers, I mean with five gallon buckets, you can grab another bucket, fill it up with nutrients, and then open the lid and switch it. So that's, a, that's the advantage about growing in five gallons. It's very easy to change nutrients and all that stuff. Okay, here is another raised bed that I have Nokia and also Diva. See, these are the Diva right here. I'm growing in those, in those grow bags. And you see, these are cucumbers there. And then my Nokia, I'm letting this one climb a little bit. So they love to climb and it's actually recommended if you let them climb because when they climb they produce straight fruits and because the fruit would just be hanging and then it creates these straight beautiful fruits so uh, allow them to climb on a trellis is the, is the best idea when you grow them okay so you see there look at that look at how huge that one is it's, it's, it, it's so heavy it's dragging the vine down but yeah there and they produce a good amount of cucumbers and they produce very fast you see and they don't need pollination so that's why I love growing these varieties and they're also very tasty so I have a review video on on testing hydroponic versus soil so you can watch I will link you guys but uh, yeah those are my cucumbers that I grow every season or mostly every season and uh, answer some of the questions that you guys are interested in. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below and thank you so much for watching.